name is Roger Zundel. I'm an ear, nose, and throat doctor. I've been in practice here for 25 years. Same clinic. Uh, I trained at the University of Utah for medical school and then went to Madison, Wisconsin for my residency program and was lucky enough to find this job right out of residency and I've st stayed here ever since. I recognize that I have limitations. I was like, one of the most frustrating things about being a doctor is people come in here and they're asking for a solution. And I know that I can't always provide that solution. But what I can always do is care. And what I can always do is listen. What I can always do is give you some explanation about what you're dealing with and give you options. And I just think for a surgeon, for a physician in general, the most important thing we do is teach. And the most important thing that we do is help people understand and then say, tell me what they want to do. So I, I see very general ear, nose and throat patients. I like to, to think of myself as an ear, nose and throat generalist. Um, but all of us have developed um, some subspecialties within that. Um, I really enjoy the full breadth of ENT, so I try to continue to, to stay sharp and stay current on all aspects of ear, nose, and throat. But I see a lot of thyroid surgery, parathyroid, um, head and neck cancer, um, obviously um, a lot of just general rhinology, um, sleep apnea, um, ear problems. Um, but probably the thing that I'm the most specialized is in head and neck cancer and thyroid surgery. Um, I hope that they have a good experience. I really try to, to remember what it's like to be a patient myself. And um, I've you know, had some medical problems in my own life and certainly family members have had our fair share of medical problems. And so I know what it's like to be on the other side of the patient doctor experience. And so whenever I see a patient, I try to remember what it's like for them and try to, to to tailor my care as if they're one of my family members or one of my friends or what I would want to experience if I was in their shoes. And it can be, it can be challenging because what we do, we do it every day, you know, and it gets to be like day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year of kind of some of the same things over and over again. But for a patient, it's, this is unique and this is unusual and it's a vulnerable experience to be a patient. And I can say, I know what it's like to be on the other side of that. And so I try to remember that and put myself in their shoes and listen and explain and um, reassure, you know, um, the way I would want to if I were the patient. But we have just a really great group of doctors. And so if there's something that I don't know how to handle, I know someone down the hall who does know how to handle it. And um, when I'm not here, if I'm away for vacation, I know that I've got partners who are going to take as good a care of my patients as I would. And um, we bounce things off each other all the time. You know, it's like, uh, it's a very collaborative. We see someone that we're not quite sure what's the best way to manage that. We have a little case conference in the office that, <laughs> that day. Uh, and they're all just, my partners are great. So to me, a great surgeon is someone who has the training and experience. You need that. But I think a great surgeon also is recognizing how vulnerable the patient is in that moment. So it's like people come to you and they're willing to go to sleep and say, go ahead and take care of me while I'm sleeping. And that's to me a great honor. And so I just feel like I have to recognize how important that is and treat every surgery as a really important thing because it is and, and, and people are putting their their trust in me they're allowing to just completely lose control for the amount of time that they're under surgery and asking me to take care of them so to me i just feel like that's an incredible honor and so i treat it that way